Hey, still a better cutscene than the Extinction Quest. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna lose my job. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day number eight of the Hardcore Iron Man adventure. Today's a big day. The plan for today, we've got Fremenic Trials, Monkey Madness. We got a bunch of XP. Haunted Mind, which gets us a Salve Amulet. So that's a huge quest. Darkness of Hallowvale, which kind of kickstarts the Vampire series. We've got Troll Strongholds, Troll Romance. Yeah, kind of meh. Both of them quite mid. But then we've got Dragon Slayer and Shield of Arav and Heroes Quest as well. Um, I don't have all the extra Heroes Quest. We'll we'll kind of see what happens here. But uh, yeah, today should be a really, really fun day. I'm, I'm very excited. Um, first thing we are going to do, though, of course, is the dailies. Okay, let's claim this daily. We are gonna get a prayer level level 42, so one level away from protect from melee. Good thing level, couple fletching levels, very cool. Let's do our drought runs, and then let's uh, let's get into Fremenic Trials. Wait, if we get 43 prayer today, that's gonna be so big. I think we're going to. That is level 43 prayer and protect from melee. That is a very important prayer level. We're basically done with prayer training for a good long while now. That's pretty much as far as we have to go. That's huge. It is time to get ourselves a raw shark from Temple Trekking. Thank you, Tall and Manly. You saved my life. Yeah, hear that a lot. Hear that all the time. What else is new? Okay, that is our first ever Temple Trek complete. And we are going to get ourselves a beautiful set of raw sharks. You need a raw shark, of course, for the Fremenic Trials quest. So uh, yeah, now that we've got a raw shark, we can get the quest done. Let's get it. And that is 1100 total level, which, you know, not the end of the world. Not a super crazy one, but that's better than nothing. We take those. Wait, I've given this kid five Gs? You know inflation is bad. When this kid, I'm giving him five Gs. Bro, he's gonna spend it on I, I think there's a there's a slight morality issue there, but we're just gonna, I gotta become a Fremenic, all right? I need the XP lamp. <laughs> Squid, you're taking this too far, man. You're taking this too far. It's literally every day, every single day, every, every single day? Every day. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. I'm actually losing my mind, Squid. Okay, so I didn't know this. Apparently, you can just take your pickaxe out of your tool belt and we're gonna bully him with a pickaxe. Prepare to die. All right, here we go. So oh, this is so much better. Imagine how bad this would be with our fists. Why does it say the use of magic is useless? I'm using backhand. This boss fight is so bugged. This boss fight is so bugged. Yeah, this pickaxe thing is so OP. This isn't fair. And goodbye. That is Fremenic Trials quest complete. Let's crack open all these lamps, get ourselves a bunch of XP, hopefully at least a few levels. And holy moly, that was uh, a lot. So we're 34 strength, 36 defense, 40 thieving, 45 woodcutting, 30 fletching, um, 50 constitution, 42 crafting, 68 combat. We're gonna check that off of our list. And the next quest we get to do is Monkey Madness. <laughs> This video is brought to you by NordVPN. Look, you guys have heard me talk about NordVPN many times in the past. They've got impenetrable security, the best in class speeds, and the ability to change your location to a variety of different countries at the click of a button. Beyond just what they can offer, I can personally say that I've been using NordVPN for the better part of a year, and I'm extremely happy with my experience. I use them all the time for DDoS protection while I'm streaming, to switch to other countries so I can view area-restricted content, and so that I can make sure that my information is safe while I'm traveling. Just last week, I was in the UK visiting Jagex to film the first season of my show, and NordVPN was active on my phone the entire time. If you're in the market for the best VPN in the world, follow the link in the description down below or on screen to get 73% off a two-year plan with an additional month free. And hey, if you're not 100% satisfied with your experience with Nord, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk at all. Once again, thank you so much NordVPN for sponsoring this video. It would not have been possible without them. Oh my, it's so tiny. Oh my goodness. We're gonna use cheats. This is so scuffed. Wait, I need to get one click on it, please. Scroll in. So much better. Let's go. Also, I'm guessing there's probably an alt one plugin for this, but we don't need it. I we're gonna we're gonna engage full manual for this one. Oh, that's the wrong. That's the wrong glider. One second. Done. Beautiful. Let's go. He still remembers how to do a slider puzzle. I feel like this was not good. I feel like this was not good. I feel like this was not good. Okay. Wait, there's a back door? In all of my years playing this game, I had no idea. No shot, I just opened this door. Oh my God, I actually hate myself. Do you just have to finish it off? A 2.6K, wait, we're actually chonking. That is the Monkey Madness quest complete. Three quest points, an absolutely nuts amount of XP that we're gonna use in a second. 
actually nuts. Nine defense levels, four attack levels. We're now level 50, which is a good wield rune, seven strength levels, and a constitution level as well. 50 attack, perfectly ready for the Dragon Slayer quest. It doesn't get any better than that, man. Next quest! which is going to be Haunted Mine. Do you, know what, do you know what I just realized? We're getting all of these balls of wool for multiple salve amulets if I lose any, but the only way to lose a salve amulet is to die, and we're not really allowed to do that, so... Oh, bad! Wait, we're fine. And GG's. I think we killed him completely with one combust. I'm pretty sure that's what we did, and it just stalled it throughout the whole boss fight. That is a Haunted Mine quest complete. A 22 key strength lap? Lamp? I can, I can speak. I know how to read. That is absolutely nuts. We take those. All right, let's mine some more of these. Make ourselves some salve amulets, because, you know, may as well. Probably a good thing to do. And let's, uh, let's skedaddle. Okay, many hours later, because this is one of the longest quests in the entire game. That's uh, Darkness Hallville. Quest complete. Got ourselves thieving level. We're level 50 agility, which is kind of nuts considering we've yet to actually train agility at all. And we're already putting all of these in to Herblore. So the Herblore training is uh, is finally starting. And that is Troll Stronghold. Quest complete. Two 10k XP lamps. I am assuming that's Herblore. Yes, it is. Beautiful. We should get ourselves a few levels out of that. And we're going to continue on to the next quest. We're level 48 in Herblore, and we have yet to actually train Herblore. We take those. We chat. It's sled time. Here we go. This is such a monka steer. Go right up. Up and over. He's cracked. Just imagine walking like this, but without the sled. And how funny that would look. That is the Troll Romance quest complete. Honestly, very worthwhile. We got to keep the sled that I will be keeping forever. And in addition, 8,000 agility XP is very, very solid. We're now 46 strength, 51 agility, 141 quest points. As soon as we get 150, by the way, we get a tier 75 weapon. The next quest on our list is Dragon Slayer. All right, chat, it's time to finally unlock better drop rates at every single boss in the game. Wait, I'm not your friend? Wait, is Ozayek being a parasocial Peter? Unbelievable. It's time to fight Meltzar the Mad. Oh no, unlucky. That's actually quite sad because he has some great dialogue. He has some of the best dialogue in the game, but you know. I don't have telegrams, but I think we can just use the loot interface. Hold up. Let's use some casual, clever use of game mechanics, right? Then we're ready to pick up our plank. We get that part. Easy. I just saved myself 10,000 coins. Anytime you get into the new aspect ratio and you know you're into like 15 year old content, things are so sick. No! The cabin boy! Not uh, Jenkins! He's still a better cutscene than the extinction quest. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna lose my job. Okay, here we go! Wait, he's hitting! Wait, I'm getting chonked! I'm walking him. I'm walking him. I'm walking him. We're not doing that. Wait, that's actually hard! Well, okay, it isn't now, because I'm cheating. But I'm not cheating. I'm cleverly using game mechanics to avoid taking damage. Because that was a lot of damage, and I'm not a fan of that. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Walking is part of the game, and if Jagex didn't want me to walk the boss, they could have programmed in an anti-walk. So that is entirely on them. We're, we're good. We're cool. All right, GG's. Clapped, idiot. Wait, wait, before I leave... We add to playlist, so I remember this song and this moment forever. And there we go. Dragon Slayer quest complete. We are now sitting on 143 quest points. Give me the strength lamp. Give me the death lamp. 48 strength, 47 defense, 71 combat, which means we are one defense level from un unlocking what is probably the single strongest ability in the entire game, which is resonance. So that's very exciting. Elvarg, uh... Yeah, get clapped. Sucks to suck. That is level 47 Hunter coming in. Hunter is a really important skill for us because as soon as we're like approaching 70, we can start doing actual Krosis where we can pull our own weight. And that is going to be really, really nice for loot. That is the end of our daily Krosis Reaper. Reaper number eight, 20,000 Slayer XP. We are now level 54 in the Slayer skill. And we're going to do one more kill for good luck, but we're not going to get a drop from it. So uh, yeah, the next clip you guys see is going to be the completion of the Shield of Rob quest. You're just going to, you're going to see that screen. It's going to be great. A few moments later. That is Shield of Rav quest complete. Now sitting on 100 and 44 quest points. Oh, this is bad. I don't know if I want to say this actually. What if I told you that I completed this quest about eight weeks ago on my main. Okay, that is Lost Marbles 
mini quest complete. And level 44 thieving coming in. How do I get a lockpick? I am in the thieves guild asking about where to get a lockpick. I'm so stupid. Huh, I wonder. Gee, anybody know anywhere nearby I could potentially find a lockpick? That is level 50 in the thieving skill. You absolutely love to see it. So I'm gonna get cold mornings in part one, as well as the legends quest. I believe also it's a soft rack for desert treasure. So we should be now finally able to do desert treasure. That is level 50 thieving. We are gonna be calling it there for today. Uh, how's it going everybody? Welcome to day nine of the hardcore Iron Man journey. Today's a really big day because we are going to be unlocking 150 quest points and the quest point shop weapon vanquish, which is a tier 75 on all three combat styles. Now, that would be super hype, except I don't have a great way to get to the level 75s because normally you would ED3 kind of leech and I can't really do that. But uh, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of skill today um, and a lot of questing as well. We've got some big progress to make. Wait, what else do I need for your quest? Let me look. 50 mining, 50 division, 50 cooking. Okay. You know what? I think we should do it. I think we should full send Heroes Quest. So yeah, that's 53 fishing, 53 cooking, and 50 mining. That is level 52 agility coming in. We absolutely take those. Access to the Will the Agility course that I, you know, I'm never really gonna do. That is cash is complete. Tell me we're level 60 divination. Oh my goodness. Caches are so busted. 279,000 total XP. Wait, that's 10 more levels as well until we can do core hunting. I am buying the vampirism aura because it's a good aura. It's helpful. It's gonna be good to get mining and crafting up. The play is gem rocks, but I don't have a gem bag. Easiest way for me to get a gem bag would be to do two mini bosses in ED3. I just need to kill two mini bosses and then I can get a gem bag and that'll make it a lot more AFK. I think I wanna do that. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna find two other tall and something hardcore iron people who just made accounts this week that have the same stats as me. And we are going to attempt to do ED3. Worth noting, full disclosure, the crabs can hit about half my HP in one shot. This is a horrible idea. This is such a horrible idea, but we've all got the same stats. The objective is simple. We need to kill two mini bosses. Not all of us buying a shield. Wait, I can't even equip it. Oh, that's so awkward. Yeah, I, I forgot about that. Okay, we're just gonna use the anti-dragon one for now. No, we have an elemental shield. We'll use that for now. I also don't have the death level for Rezo anyway. So it's not like this is hugely helpful either way. Okay, 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 we're fine. We're fine. We already leveled up. This place is kind of nuts. That is level 11 at Dumpineering. Dude, this is so hard. We're getting chonked. That is level 50 defense. That was like, that took two minutes. This is so monka. Okay, just tag them like one at a time. I'll tag them, I'll tag them, I'll tag them. The Rangers, right? Yeah, the Rangers. Don't do that. Oh, we're gonna lose a hardcore here today, boys. We're totally gonna lose somebody. This is so scuffed. I love the no leeching rule. This is so funny. <laughs> let's uh, let's get it. Upgrade the gear. Okay, Um, one orb I already had. I need the robe bottom, the hat, the boots, and the gloves. Dude, look at the fit. We're looking, uh, we're looking strong. Wait, did I get 14 salvage? Wait, I got 14 huge salvage from that. What? Wait, that just quintupled my coin pouch. Our team of three absolutely elite mystic gothic staff clad hard Iron Man successfully completed the double token farm. We are now level 64 magic, 55 HP. That is level 25 in dungeoneering. And now... I still have enough tokens remaining to buy myself the gem bag. Absolutely massive. Let's freaking go. So let's say we park ourselves here with our brand new gem bag. I need level 50 mining. I think what we're gonna do here for Hero's Quest is instead of going all the way to 61 for Lunar Diplomacy, we're just gonna get to 50 for now. And with our gem bag, yeah, this should be really, really, really clean. This should be super easy. Cat, I just got sent possibly the most cursed thing I've ever seen in my entire life. That was made by Cam, um, who's a friend of Coach's. Thank you so much, it's beautiful. I'm gonna have to put that on my wall, aren't I? <laughs> sorry, okay, I'm, I'm sorry for the pause. That was, that that is actually very, like, it's beautiful. It's great work. It's just, it's really cursed, you know? That is level 50 mining coming in. One minute later, that is the pirate's treasure quest complete. A beautiful gold ring as well as an emerald. We take those and we are now sitting on 146 quest points. That is level 48 
in the fishing skill, which means five more levels until we train our cooking up and we are good to start the hero's quest. But before we do that, it's time for underground pass. Long to very long difficulty experienced. Rewarding wise though, we get 15 death runes, so it's kind of worth it. Just don't tell PETA, all right? Wait, was that it? I don't think I took damage. Okay, that was, uh, that was whelming. But look, we got an Ivan staff. Okay, chat, this is an absolutely huge one. Our quest points are gonna pass 150, which is the first significant unlock on this account. It took us nine days, and this is gonna be a tier 75 weapon on all three combat styles. And that's it. We now have a total of 150 QPs absolutely massive actually overdid it 151 let's go to may but that is absolutely massive as an accomplishment let's roll the magical dice that's 500k that is a fortunate beautiful there it is the vanquish unlocked now i obviously can't equip it oh the messenger wait is that for um that's for the regicide quest which we're actually only four agility levels away from being able to do and then we're basically just kickstarting the elf quest line more importantly than getting the king's message that is level 51 farming we can finally plant all the pineapples um that is level 55 slayer we take those okay effigy from croesus has been exchanged for a lamp wait i feel level 50. Okay, so we're gonna do Herbie Werby right now. That's gonna get us 50, and then we're gonna put the lamp in Herbivore. And then after that, we're gonna keep working on 50 D fishing and cooking, and then we're gonna complete the hero's quest because I would like to be a hero. It's time. That is level 50 in the Herbivore skill. Just over a week into the account, having not trained Herbivore at all. And now we can use this lamp from our effigy on Herbivore as well. Gets us over halfway to level 51. Why is the circus way better than I thought it was? Holy moly, 20k magic XP for that. Wait, and a piece of drip. Um, Yeah, we're gonna call that drip. That is level 45 cooking coming in. 10,000 coins, some troves, some sandstone, and some clay. I guess I'll take the troves. Wait, can I open the trove? 10 diamonds, 10 super decks, 440 blues? That's actually nuts. We could probably get to QBD just so that we have. Not saying that like I'm... I'm going to do that necessarily we're almost there i think we're a day or two away from easily getting the qbd something that obviously i see no issues with and i think we should do let's say it's 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 day nine right now made this account nine days ago let's say by day 14 we get our first qbd kill wait okay idea idea actual idea what if i bring a copy to jagex and before i leave i hang it up on a wall just like a random wall at the third floor of jagex hq and it's just <laughs> get it signed frame it have it in the backdrop that would actually, I would hang it on my wall. I actually think, here's the thing, it's really cursed and it's not like something I want to have to look at, but you have to respect the artistry, right? Like it is actually like a beautiful design, right? It's really, really well drawn. It's well designed. And this world will burn. Um, that is level 50 cooking coming in. Absolutely huge. Only three more levels to go on cooking, two more levels to go for fishing, and then we are free of fishing and cooking for a good long while because this has been a grind. This has been a ton of skilling for one day, like an actually nuts amount. Pause champ. That is level 52 cooking. One more level until we have the cooking rec for the hero's quest. Let's freaking go. That is level 53 cooking done and dusted one of the requirements for hero's quest the final rec we have is 53 fishing we are halfway to 52 right now so let's get that right now right this second and then get the hero's quest done look it's max max is back max you're pretty far from varrock man do you need help getting back to varrock okay Listen to this. Hold up. <laughs> Hello? Can you imagine someone, some poor JMod getting in the booth and having to do that? That is a beautiful raw lava eel. We're gonna get multiple because with my luck, I'm gonna catch two and burn both of them. So we're gonna get three. And then on to the next section of the quest. 
And there we go. That is the hero's quest complete. We are finally a hero, ending off day nine with a total of 152 quest points and also a bunch of lamps to use. I hope we get some levels out of this. I think we probably will. None of these lamps are absolutely massive, but it still should be a, a decent chunk of XP. And I'm really glad we got that done. We grinded for this quest. We grinded for the fishing and cooking rack. So it feels super, super good, good to get her done. And just like that, we got a fire making level, wood cutting level, and 51 attack as well. We are now 1231 total. And that is going to be the conclusion of day nine. I will see you all tomorrow for day 10. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. We should maybe take a quick look, but I think it's going to be Throne of Miscellany, Royal Trouble, Tears of Gothics, Rune Mysteries, Enter the Abyss, and possibly Rum Deal as well. So should be a bunch of good progress tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. Take care, everyone.